Hey all and welcome back for another Hellfire Comms Patreon quick look. Today I am attempting to get good and we are going to be playing that Fleischer classic, well Fleischer inspired classic, Cuphead. And we're doing the Nintendo Switch version, which I think is functionally about the same as all the others. I just get to play it on the go, so let's do this. It actually is. It's it's one of the best ports, apparently, which is just, like, straight up, uh, it, it, it works perfectly for the system, which is good, because, boy, I sure hope that means more Microsoft titles come to the Switch. Look, I just want to play Halo on the go. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see. Uh, we do have an upcoming Smash announcement, possibly at the VGA 2019, so uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have uh, Master Chief in there, and uh, everything will just tumble down from there. This game has just such an amazing style. They they had an aesthetic that they wanted to go for, and boy geez, did they. No narration, because, of course, it comes from the era of, like, cartoons where... I'm not sure, some cartoons had narration, I'm pretty sure. Well, I think this comes from the era of where there wouldn't be sound, and it would actually just be played live uh, in the theater there. You know, back in the days uh, before talkies, as they were called. Look at that smug guy in the top left. He knows what he's doing. And skeletons. Don't don't do deals with the devil, kids. Especially if you're like, if you have your most precious resource just available to scoop out the top of your head, don't deal with the devil, okay? In general, it seems like dealing with the devil in anything is a bad idea. Which you know. This should be self-explanatory, but there's some people who test their luck. Oh gosh, mister, please! Please, let us do stuff for you! Okay, I'm a nice guy after all. Go collect these debts, alright? There's no way the devil will two-time us on this. No, well, we're not going to get to that during the course of this quick look, by the way, which was commissioned by Robert Hollander, by the way. So let's see how far I can get before we game over, because that's pretty much when the quick look's going to win. Yeah, so this game is known for being a little difficult. Uh, it is it is a game where you fight a multitude of bosses and run through some levels, and yeah, it is a uh, it's one that the average gamer might have a bit of trouble with. See how we go, I guess. Man, Pokemon could do with just having some sim leaves or whatever. Because uh, there's a certain point in Sword and Shield where it's like, oh my god, how did you not realize this was super awkward? Yeah, no, for sure. I definitely agree where you get to some parts where it's... I think simish is like just a great way to put in a bit of voice acting without having to worry about translating it into a billion languages. There you go, we'll have a bit of a potion, and now we can shoot stuff. Yeah, I'm feeling super powered. Go to my writing desk and use the mysterious inkwell there. You got it. It's a great day for a quick look. Remember, don't get stuck on the one part of the tutorial for 45 minutes. I will, don't you worry. I still that story like I do agree that some people took it way out of context but the idea that you got stuck on the tutorial for like 14 minutes or whatever is still just the wildest thing it was this right here yeah there we go you did it you've you're better than some people uh, I've played a few running guns before I'm not like super adept or anything but the main inspirations for this game, which I can find uh, on this website here, was uh, Gunstar Heroes, which you can of course see, uh, because it's it's with the run and gun, um, Contra 3, which again you can also see from the run and gun, Contra Hardcore, Mario World, which we'll see uh, later in the overworld, Thunder Force, which is I think a top-down shooter, um, and Street Fighter 3. That one might seem not very apparent until you realize there's a parry button, which, yeah, that's Street Fighter. You have to lay out all those debtors to move on. Wasn't this game originally just boss fights and then they added in, like, run and gun stages? Yes, yeah, so originally it was just all going to be the boss fights and they realized, oh wait, actually platforming around is kind of fun. So there's a couple platforming stages, but for the most part it is just a boss fight game. Fair dues, mate, fair dues. I think this game is also in the Guinness World Records for the most bosses in a run-and-gun game, being 30 in the base game, which beat out the previous 25. Neat.
Uh, tomato head, or is that apple? Yeah, I thought that's more of an apple kind of go. Go into the pictures, that's such a such a classic way of saying it. It's kind of a British saying, really, or do they say that in Canada as well? They certainly don't. Well, I'm going straight to the shop and I'm going to be spending these, thank you very much. I think this shopkeeper is a reference to, um, what's that one game? The Monster Boy games, or Wonder Boy, or whatever they are. Yeah, let's see. What should we buy here, do we think? Hmm. Smoke bomb might be good for the purposes of a quick look. You will not take damage during a dash, a great defense maneuver. That sounds pretty good, yeah, because then that gives you the... Uh, just just a free way to um, get through projectiles, which is always welcome. Because I don't think you can parry every projectile. I think only pink ones you can. So regular ones, you need to find a way to get through. So I said I just tells us to equip them and whatnot, because knowing me, I, I just wouldn't, honestly. Now, was well, that could under charm? Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. So it's just like a nice, un like obtrusive sort of equipping thing. What we got down here? Botanic Panic! We're gonna play it on regular. Mm-hmm. Onward to the first boss battle of this video game! I'm not from the twenties. Although I will be soon. This match will get red hot. Here goes! I'm shooting! I'm shooting! He's got worms! So I do know there's one phase of this boss that if you don't shoot them, they will just, uh, leave. Uh, which is weird to me, but I think it's the carrot or something, one of them. Where if you just leave it alone, it will just go away. But we're not in it for that, we want to fight. Well, you say that, but, uh, I'm a coward, so... It is this one? Okay, alright. Oh, he's so bashful. Jesus, fuck. Uh. Ah! Do it terribly! See? I told you I wasn't very good at these things! So, uh, that little spinning one there, you really have to seemingly dash through. And we got our invincible dash, which is gonna be quite helpful. So, uh, fun fact! Mugman was actually inspired by, um, a background character from Evil Mickey Attacks Japan, which was a World War II propaganda cartoon. Well, I'll be dilly damned. This is gonna be a fun boss fight, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh boy, this, yeah. So the whole thing of this game is the bosses are quite difficult, but they do show you as you go through, like, how far you got and how, uh, you know, how good you do against them. So it is a it is a game of trial and error, of getting better and you know progressing through, uh, learning how things work. A great slam and then some. And begin. Let's do this. It's all a learning experience, guys, and you don't just spam that thing in midair because that gets you hurt. Yeah, you gotta time that for the for the parry. Once again, it's like Street Fighter, right? You gotta press forward at the right amount of time. And uh, every time you parry, you do get your super shot, which is quite useful for dealing the heavy damage there. <sighs> Alright, Onion Man, you're going down. Your Dunion Rings. See, he's not very happy. And he drops the, like, Mega Man 2 style raindrops there. He hates it. He sure does, Donna. Let's see if our little radish friend comes out. It seems he does not, which does make it seemingly easier. We are learning. It is a learning experience. Yeah, they're like, hey, you can skip the phase, which will make it easier. And then you're just, nope, it actually makes it way harder. Gotcha. So this is one of those games that ended up getting a lot of, um, like, weird, like, phone rip-off versions. 
Which is strange to me because for me, like those are the ones like you know like like the the cool spider hero city rescue sort of android games. Which is weird because it always felt to me that those are stuff that appeals to kids. And it's strange to think of this game appealing to kids because I cannot imagine little, you know, four and five year olds playing these crazy boss fights. Yep, pretty much. So, uh, didn't do too hot on the HP bonus there. Didn't get all the parries. Oh, we did. Cool. Huh. Well, that's progress for you, I suppose. Yeah, A minus is not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that, Rob. Uh, that's going to be the peak of my performance here, I believe. Nice. So I think if you go up there, there's another one that is actually, I think, the one you're supposed to do first. Well, I'll be diddly darned. Going up, going up. Forest Follies. Oh, this is clearly a running gun. It even says it on the thing. It, it is what it is there. Now, if you ever played a game by Treasure, you'll know about running guns, so, uh, good luck. Man, I think everyone needs to just do at least one run-through of Gunstar Heroes. That game is just so fun to pick up and play in a, on a good day. Oh lord, he coming. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tanner, what is your opinion on the whole Cuphead phenomenon? Did you expect it to take you to the heights that it did? Oh, jeez. I think we're experiencing some Skype difficulties, guys, here. Give us a second. Yeah, a little bit. That's it's it should clear up though, and we'll have it on our uh, on our on our saved version. That should be fine. But um, it was definitely something that I knew should deserve to have the praise that it does with the art. That's what I get for running headlong into spikes and whatnot. But hey, I got nearly halfway through it. You're up. Let's try this again. It's not really a sort of game where you can like figure out like a certain way to trick it. You just have to keep practicing and get better and whatnot. I did not know you could fire down. That would actually help a bit. Yeah, it's definitely one that is not about uh, learning from the get-go. You gotta take those repeated tries, which is definitely another way of making games, right? You don't have to make it so that they know immediately. I'm not entirely sure what getting all the- Man, I'm getting my ass kicked here. This is pretty embarrassing, actually. But, you know, that's just the way it be. So, uh, the music for this game was composed with a 13-piece big band specifically for this game. It wasn't one that they hired on, they literally made the band themselves. Which, again, we're talking about the amount of effort they went in. You know, it's, it's wild. Yeah, pretty much. I'm glad we came to this after Death Stranding, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, because then we, we got our juices flowing with, with success, only to be, only to now come to this and show what the true Death Stranding is. Yeah, this is, this is a game here. There are some wipers. Again, we're talking about, like, polar opposites for video games. This and Death Stranding are pretty far from each other. There you go. Death Stranding, it's like, it's okay, you, you know, you, you, you did a little wrong, but you still get that S rank, and here it's like, what's that? Did you breathe? Sorry, you got it, you're dying. Timing some of these parries is what's killing me the most here, I think. Yeah, it's, you know, different games, they have parries that have different levels of how much, how quick you can use it, right? Is brutal. It is hurting my feelings, in fact. The true Cuphead was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> and then we slammed them into the garbage bin, because, like, sorry, you're not good enough at video. It's gonna have to be this way, I'm afraid. Just replace the soundtrack with, like, Metal Gear Rising music, and just, it, it had to be this way. <laughs> oh, lord. 
For real, could you imagine the boss fights having the, like, uh, sequential boss music that levels up as you go on? It'd be the best! It would be pretty rad, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so you can parry into a dash, that's important to know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Why did you do that, Tom? Why did you press down? You silly fool, you clod even! But the bigger question is, why would they give you the ability to press down and go through that barrier of hurt? <laughs> because fuck you, that's why. I'm starting to get anxiety and whatnot. That's okay, you got this. You also have five super shots if you ever need to just clear things out. And I probably will. Well, there's that, yeah, that, that one guy right there, yeah. And he does push you back a bit, which is actually kind of good for dodging as well. Oh, you motherfucker. Ooh, -hoo. look at those nippers from Mario. Steady now, Tom. <sighs> yeah, 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 you got this. Progress. Bravo! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Bravo, you did it. We get that Dark Souls feeling of us doing it, except it's also way shorter and you don't have to run back every time. Boy, that sucked in Dark Souls. A little bit, yeah. See, look, that wasn't even two minutes long. That was almost the same length as a Sonic Forces stage, but the difficulty was so much higher. Right? Yeah. Hey, can you imagine if Sonic Forces had this level of difficulty? Maybe it would take more than 30 minutes to beat the game. Hey, hey oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we have the same sense of humor. Uh, brilliant. Alright, let's get a few more uh, notches under our belt. I want Rob to have the full experience of a uh, cuphead before we go down here. Ruse of an ooze. Goop le grand, or goopy le grand. I think this is the one I was thinking of as the one most people go to for the first boss. Ah, oh, okay. Well, it would get sequentially easier, though. <laughs> let's hope! It's a slime! Okay, uh, you, got, you got to use your dash when you got it, Tom. Look at it, look at this, look at this big old Dragon Quest reference. Or just video games in general, because boy, slimes are just the video game enemy. Oh yeah, we have a lot to learn here. Mostly, touch damage sucks and I don't like it. And it seems like his punch, you're actually safe to be right in front of him when he does it, because you can duck under him and probably shoot him. <sighs> Okay, well, with a face like mine, is it a crime to be bouncing all the time? We'll let the jury decide. <laughs> it is. You're going to jail. I'm sorry. Wallop is a good word. I like it. We should use it more often. Stand over here. Shoot. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Okay. Do you have your super shot too, which is uh, getting it slowly over time there. I don't know how much more damage it does, but it does seem to be something good to do. No. Ugh. Ah, you didn't think he would go to his next phase there, and he's now bigger. He's a big boy. Also, that was kind of cool. You can parry his question marks. Okay, you gotta be careful, because you never know when he's gonna, like, oh! There you go. Just duck it, it's fine. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Fuck. And he's getting too big to easily dash through, which is, that's where some of the difficulty's coming from. Yep, that is the difficulty, alright? I'm a handsome slime bringing the pain one bounce at a time. This hurts. Like, this hurts my game of soul, because I know I should be better than this, and I'm not. It's one of those things, though, where once you do it, though, you're gonna feel like you could, like, run a marathon. <laughs> you're gonna be like, yeah, I'm the best! Not me, baby. 100% end time obesity right there. Run a, you know, run a mental marathon. Um, do a good math question. Man, I'm not very good at timing those parries. You know, be happy though, it doesn't actually use Street Fighter 3's way of doing it, where you have to press forward to parry. Yeah. 
That that is that is tough. Having it be a button at least is a bit easier on the mind. He also varies up his actual jumping distance sometimes. Sometimes he does a short jump, sometimes he does a long jump. There we go. Actually, it looks like he does two short jumps, then one long jump, so that's at least good to know. He goes short, short, long, so that'll help. Come on, Tom. You can do it. Do it for BB. Do it for Die Hardman. <laughs> do it for all those people. Oh, we're getting there. Make that a very ironic gravestone. It's also good to know that this slime is in fact Catholic with the uh, with the cross up there. We did it! Nice. Yes. Whoo! Video games are good sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Cats can have a little video game. That was two minutes? That was the longest two minutes of my life. Well, that felt like a B plus, honestly. You know what? That's, that's, that, I, when I got B pluses in school, I was like, you know what? That's good. It's a pass, at least. It is. It's much more than a pass. It's just under a great. Let's go back to the shop, see what we got here. Goopy La Grande is Goopy La Gone. Doop -ba -doop -ba -doo. What do you got for me here? So we got six coins now, meaning we can get ourselves a nice, fancy new power up if we have one. Uh, got a chaser, long range with below average damage, an extra hit point, slightly weakens your attack power, spread. First parry is automatic, all you need to do is jump. That's pretty good. Great coverage with average damage, aim backwards for maximum range. That's the weird one, because like you basically have to sh aim backwards to do stuff. I don't- that one's strange, yeah. I will take the extra hit point for now. Would have been nice if I got that earlier, but I needed the coins, I guess. Now, do you want to go up or down, mate? Um... I don't think we can go up, I think... Or could we? I don't know. Um, let's see, yeah, let's, let's talk to this dude. Oh, I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah on the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. Mm. Good for him. Thank you. That's what I say. I say go up, because I'm looking at that boat and I'm getting some scary, scary ideas. I don't know about it. Oh, I see. You have to equip it. That's no good for now. I'll stick with the smoke bomb. Clip joint calamity. Yep, going away from that as fast as possible. Yep, because I know what that one is. Woo boy! Hello. Oh, well, I guess that is that is what we have to do once we grab this thing. Alright, gotta study the blueprints first, I guess. I think I know what's coming up, actually, and it is a doozy. How you like side-scrolling shoot shooters, rather? Um, well, I've been playing one for the past 40 minutes or so. That's, well, but now, a flying one. Hmm, you can become tiny, just a little bit. Nice. That'll do me. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how far I can get in this, and uh, depending on how I feel, this will be the last one. Fratinin Zeppelin Hildeberg. Oh, the humanity as we shoot down and cause the Hindenburg tragedy. Oh, the huge humanity, which probably could also exist in a Fleischer cartoon. Uh, what was the earliest cartoon you can remember watching, mate? Oh, wow, that's a question. Um, earliest cartoon? I mean, probably like some Disney stuff, like thinking about like Snow White and all that, because we had all the VHSs for them. Well, I think the earliest Mickey cartoon I watched was like Clock Cleaners, which is where 
Mickey, Don and Goofy attempt to do uh, some cleaning on some like clockwork shit and whatnot and it kind of all goes pear-shaped, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, fuck off. That is such a cool power-up, except for the fact that it is quite, uh... It could be dangerous, because, you know, you position yourself near the enemy again. Which, in a game like this, you don't want to necessarily be by. Huh. Not too bad. Well, you do have way more freedom of movement in this sort of gameplay here, right? God damn it, Tom, don't go towards the letters. I know you crave positivity, but don't do it like that. She's gonna charge. Gonna watch out for that. A bull charging? Pfft, can't believe it. How unoriginal. What the fuck were they thinking? I'd love to see an AVGN on Cuphead. I think it'd be wild. Actual rage. Steady now, Tom. Steady. All this tornadoes. Those are never fun. In real life or video games. I'm having to watch a lot of stuff here. Gotta be careful. And now she's two people dancing. And much like old cartoons, it is slightly risque. And she got me right away with that, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, it's it's not a game that you're going to immediately be good at unless you're some type of Greek gaming god, but by playing it, you gain, as I said, real life experience points. You get them real-life level-ups, except you don't really get much stat-up other than your gaming stat. Important stat to level, though, I gotta say. Yeah, because once you have your gaming stat-up, it's like you can, you can do many things involving games, I guess. It's a great soundtrack. It's, it's, it is one that, like, doesn't sound very video gamey, but when you play it, you're like, it's a good little, you know, ditty. You know, it's like, it's fun. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily play it in the car while I'm driving like some game soundtracks, but I'll definitely listen to it. I won't push it out of bed. You know, if it was like anthropomorphic. Oh, I got hit by the heart. Keep it going, Tom. Keep it going. Uh... Oh, there she goes. Oh, there she blows. Okay, so these track, that's good to know. I think? I'm not entirely sure. And this is one of those games where I feel like them having health bars would kind of get away from that feeling of, uh, of growth where you're like, it, you don't see the progress except in the boss phases, which is interesting how they how they handle it there. It's like mo how, what Monster Hunter is, right? Where it's like you don't see the actual, um, you know, like here, like we're seeing something new. Alright. Gotta be careful now. Oh lord, oh lord. A little spooky, a little weird. UFO, seriously. Oh, we were real close that time. It's okay, that form is just particularly tricky. See, the thing with the horror is it tries to fake you out because it's like a projectile, right? You should be dodging it. But no, it comes out at a bit of a different rate as opposed to the others. Yeah, it's just, just having those different different things that you have to keep track of is what gets you. It's like, individually it'd be easy to dodge, but it's the combinations of stuff that really start to get you. Hence with the UFO we fought earlier, where it's like, you're so used to just going up and down in this, where it's like, uh-uh, left and right exist as well. Da -da -da. Maximum Serious time. We're feeling it in our giblets. Oh, yes. Well, it is almost Christmas. You know Netflix is going to make a Cuphead Christmas special, and it's going to just be the most, like, classic-style Christmas thing. I'd love that, honestly. 
No, coming for you. That the fact that it looks like you hit the projectile and it just exploded almost looks like you can use that as a get out of jail free card if you're if you use your super there. Oh, that's a big one. Right, final phase. So, Tom, Toho playthrough when? <laughs> How about you go deliver a package? That's right. Watch out for them UFOs. I'm watching. I see them. Oh, shrink his dodge. I'm a moron. Yeah, it's like it gives you a little bit of a dodge there and then keeps you small, too. I'm seeing ya. I'm seeing ya. Yes! Yeah, we did it! I keep saying we did it, even though I'm just here for moral support, but that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah! How long was that one? I don't believe you. <laughs> this whole thing of it being like, yeah, you know, you, you did it with, uh, you know, two minutes. It's like that, that never feels like two minutes. Did you see that? I started with like... A minus, then it was like A, and then B plus, and now B minus. <laughs> uh, well, that's the Cuphead experience. Progress go up, quality go down. That's just how it goes in this Cuphead of an Earth. Good shit. So, uh, any last words before we sign off here? Because I think my brain needs a little bit of rest now. Yeah, I'm gonna go have a nap after watching this. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's definitely a game for the gamers who enjoy their rough-and-tumble challenges like the good old days. Oh, surely. And if you've been enraged, feel free to commission me a really hard game to do a quick look on at <laughs> patreon.com forward slash hellfirecoms. Here's everyone who's currently uh, enabling my suffering and whatnot. I love each and every one of you, especially the money you send in once a month. I like paying bills. It's good. Uh, that should be all of them now. So I'm gonna sign off and I don't know, I'm gonna throw myself out the uh, the four story window of a really huge building. Uh, that would require me to go outside. And I'll just play more Cuphead I guess. See you next time for more Patreon quick look fun. Bye bye!